Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk, back in the video today, and we're going to be talking about the most recent NBA trade rumors, as um, we are going to be talking about the most recent uh, news that is the Jazz and Hawks are in a trade discussion that involves John Collins, which I think this is, you know, a very interesting thing and could be a possible deal. I don't know if I see it happening right now, but it it could be a good potential deal for both teams, and let's go over it. So, reported about a couple hours ago, maybe five to seven hours, maybe a little more than that, um, it was reported on Bleacher Report by some name, someone, Jake, Jake something, that the Hawks and the Jazz are uh, discussing a trade that would be John Collins going to the Utah Jazz in exchange for um, forward and guard Malik Beasley and Jared Vanderbilt, um, which I don't really know what to feel about this um, because, you know, personally, you know, John Collins is a great player, but Jared Vanderbilt and Malik Beasley have had great seasons for the Jazz. And if I'm the Jazz, I don't know if I want to give those two guys up. Um, like for me personally, I, I would want to give them up for the right price. I just don't know if, if, giving up both of them is the way to go if I'm the J Utah Jazz. I just really I know I know you got a lot of their talent at the guard position, so it probably isn't that hard to give up uh Malik Beasley once you think about it. You need another forward. I think that rookie, I don't know how to say his name, he has started to play really well. Um and he's a two. You have Clarkson, you have some other talented twos. So there's really no need to keep Malik Beasley, but Jared Vanderbilt has been very successful this season, getting a lot of rebounds, getting a lot of points, a lot of second chance points has been really good for the Jazz this season. And it just has been a good, you know, either whether he started or he's came off the bench, he's just been a good player for the Utah Jazz this season. So I, I think this, I definitely think that this would be a good trade for the Jazz, but this is, you know, a type of move that it makes them better, but it also hurts them. Um, now, what what does this trade mean for the Hawks? Um, you know, I still think I, th you know, there's still the this doesn't change their their situation. They're they're still a struggling what nine? What are they nine or the, they're the ninth seed right now in the East? They're still struggling. Uh, this could maybe even possibly struggle, make them struggle even worse without John Collins. You know, despite his you know really not wanting to be with the Hawks, you know, him kind of wanting to get out of there and kind of wanting to trade. He still played good. He's averaging 14, near 14 points per game. So even though, you know, he doesn't really want to be there, he's still playing good basketball. And even though you'd be receiving two good players, I just don't know um, how that looks, you know, after, after that trade happens. So moving on after that, I just don't, I just don't know. I don't know how the Hawks look. Do the, does this trade push the Jazz into the play-in for sure now? Because right now the Jazz, are they the ninth seed? I think they're the ninth seed as well. So both teams are the ninth seed in their conferences. Uh, the Jazz are the ninth seed, but you never know with the Jazz. One night they can be the ninth seed, and then, the, and then after a loss, the next night they can be the 11 or the 12th seed. Or with a win, they could be the seventh seed. So a win or loss can just affect, you know, your future. I mean, obviously not your future for the rest of the season, but a win, what, whether if you lose or you win, you can jump up two spots or you can drop th two or three. So um, the West is really uh, b between the spots of 7 to 12 is a really close battle, and anybody can flip um, each night. So I think that... Really, I think that, you know, that the Jazz would have a better chance to stay in that 10-7 to 7 area if John Collins was added to the roster. Um, I just don't know um, when it would happen. I just, I just know that they're discussing a trade. Um, who knows if it even happens at all, but you guys let me know what you guys think about the potential trade of John Collins going to the... Um, Utah Jazz exchange for Jared Vanderbilt and um, Malik Beasley. Not official yet, but it was announced by Bleacher Report, a Bleacher Report a reporter, that this trade was discussed between the two teams. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your, your thoughts on um, the trade idea, and let me know if you think the if the Utah Jazz should pull the trigger and make this trade. Or if the Hawks shouldn't trade John Collins, just let me know your thoughts in journal. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know your thoughts. Peace out.